Students, let's go ahead with transformation of sentences. And we have already seen how to change from assertive to interrogative. Now we shall see how to change from interrogative to assertive. Now, there are two types of interrogative sentences. One is the rhetorical question where the answer is not expected. Example, does anything succeed like success? And the person is actually trying to say nothing succeeds like success. Whereas we have the next type that is the real question. And a real question is a question where the answer is expected. Example, where are my books? Now in this case, the answer is expected. Let us see how to change both these types of sentences. Okay, from interrogative to assertive, we will take a look how to change the rhetorical or how to change the real question. Now, look at the rhetorical one. If the rhetorical sentence is affirmative, then the answer will be negative and vice versa. If the given question that is a rhetorical is negative, then your assertive sentence is going to be affirmative. Now, does anything succeed like success? Let us take a look at this. See, remember the structure of both. Interrogative is WH word, auxiliary verb, subject main verb, or we have auxiliary verb. In this case, this is a yes, no question. So, we have the auxiliary verb does, then we have the subject anything, then we have the main verb succeed and of course some additional words and finally we have the question mark. Now, when we change to assertive, see there, we have the subject and the verb. So first the subject will come here. Now, remember students, affirmative here, so it will become negative. So anything becomes nothing. Why? The subject anything changes to nothing as the sentence changes from affirmative to negative. So it becomes nothing. Now, here students, the auxiliary verb does and then the main verb succeed and then the rest. Of course, we write a full stop because it is an assertive sentence. Students, nothing does succeed like success. Instead of writing does succeed, we can just write succeeds. So what is the answer? Nothing succeeds like success. We have changed from interrogative to assertive. We have changed the structure. And remember, we are going to make it negative to affirmative and vice versa whenever it is a rhetorical question. Now, let's go on to the next example. But before that, see here, the subject is nothing and then the verb is succeeds and of course the rest of it. Now, the next example or the next type is the real question. Where are my books? Now, in this case, students, obviously, there's a real question there. The person wants to know where the books are. So, whenever there is a real question, <laughs> let us see how to transform. First and foremost, start the assertive sentence with either I want to know, I would like to know, I wonder, or I don't know. In this case, students, I really want to know where my books are. So, I will say... I want to know and then again we're going to do the swapping see here are my books here after step one you will first write if or whether if it is a yes no question or you will write WH word if it is a WH question now in this case students we know it's a WH question where are my books so I am going to write the same WH word that is where and then we're going to swap the subject and the verb so are my books my books is the subject and R is the verb we are going to swap it first we will write the subject my books and then we will write the verb because this is assertive okay students remember to swap the subject and the verb first the subject then the verb. So this is how you're going to change a real question using I want to know, I would like to know, I don't know, I wonder and then you add either a WH word or an if or whether. We are going to now take an example with if or whether. Are you hungry? Now students this is not a WH question. This is 
a yes no question so first and foremost whenever we have to transform a real question to an assertive sentence follow these steps one start the assertive sentence with i want to know i would like to know i wonder i don't know here students let's take i wonder okay so i wonder now students this after step 1 you will check whether it's a wh question or a yes no question if it is a yes no question we are going to write if or whether and if it's a wh question we are going to write the same wh word in this case students what is it we are going to write if or whether because the given question is a yes no question so i wonder if or i wonder whether okay if is also fine i wonder if now again you swap the subject and the verb are you will become you are so the subject you and then the verb are and of course hungry so i wonder if you are hungry this is how you are going to change from interrogative to assertive both rhetorical and real questions we've seen the method students let's go on to the exercise change the interrogative sentence to assertive sentence now don't you worship mata mai students this is a rhetorical question why because you should know it as it is from your textbook from the lesson sant gadge maharaj it is a rhetorical question so what do we do we follow the following steps this is a negative sentence so you are going to make it affirmative see here interrogative is either wh or it's a yes no and assertive is always going to be subject plus verb so because you see that it starts with the auxiliary this is the structure auxiliary verb plus the subject plus the main verb and finally the question mark now when you change you're going to first write the subject so you will say you do worship mata mai why because it's a rhetorical you are going to change from negative to affirmative so this is the subject here you and then we have do worship that is do is the auxiliary and worship is the main verb okay now let's go on to the next one where are you from students here it sounds like a real question you really want to know where the person is from so whenever we have to transform a real question into an assertive sentence follow these steps start the assertive sentence with either i want to know i would like to know i wonder i don't know so let's take i want to know because it's a genuine question you want to know where the person is from so i want to know now because the given sentence is a wh sentence either it's wh or it's yes no so if it is yes no students we write if or whether but if it is wh we write the same word so here it is wh we are going to take the same word where okay so we will say i want to know where and then we will write the subject and the verb so are you are is of course the verb and you is the subject when we write an assertive sentence we are going to swap it and first we will write you and then we will write are of course with the word from so i want to know where you are from students if you follow these steps if you know the structure then all these different types of transformations are very easy thank you Thank <laughs> you.